Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lori. I am a reseller on Poshmark and on eBay. Today I have a haul video for you that I'm really excited to share with you. It's a collection of items that I've picked up from a few different spots. You'll see a couple pieces here from the Goodwill outlets, not many. I've actually processed a lot of that stuff already and didn't do a haul video, which has kind of thrown me off quite a bit. I have a couple pieces from Savers. Same thing, I've been going back and forth to Savers and Goodwill and didn't do a haul video, but the bulk of this haul video will be from a recent trip to Plato's Closet. I only picked up two things and one of them was questionable that I'll share with you. And then a new spot that I have found in um, the same town as Plato's here in Massachusetts. So I wanna jump right into it. If you'll notice, we are in a new spot. Um, I'm giving my kitchen a try. Uh, I have a decent amount of space on my island here. And sometimes I feel like when I'm in my chair in my office, I'm like stuck and I wanna move around a little bit more. So I thought we would give it a try in the kitchen. So let's see how this goes. And I have more space so I can drink my coffee. And it actually is not sweet enough. Um, hold up. Does anybody use this keto cream? I'm like not really keto right now, kind of, but not really. Um, I lost like 10, 11 pounds on keto recently. Um, and I was doing it with my husband and he lost a ton of weight and he's off it now. And so I've been bad. Anyways, I still like this creamer. I get it at TJ Maxx for like five bucks. Okay, sorry. I digress. Okay, let's get started. We'll start with some of the pieces that I got at Savers, okay? And um, I think most of the pieces from Savers are listed with the exception of one. Um, and I don't know pricing and stuff like that. I always have my 20% off coupon, but um, I picked up this, which is super cute. This is a cropped um, blouse with these beautiful puffy sleeves. I think the lighting's pretty good in here. I like it. There's no size tag. Um, I did the measurements online. It really could go anywhere from like an extra small to a large. You know how free people, you know, they just do the um, oversized thing. I'm in love with this shirt. If I lived the cropped life, I would love it. But you could, I suppose somebody could even wear this with like a tank underneath and layer it if they wanted to wear it almost like bolero style, I suppose. Um, this I got at the Goodwill Outlets. Uh, this is a Sundance sweater. I've done, um, I've picked up a few Sundance. It's definitely like an older piece, um, but I love the color for the season. It's a full zip. It's a size small, 100% cotton, really cute. This is already listed. Um, I like that it's, you know, very thick uh, ribbing at the bottom for just like a little extra style there, super cute. I'm hoping to get between 25 and 35 for this piece. It's a nice quality piece. Um, this I picked up, paid up a little bit, you know, Savers prices are all over the place, but um, this was $12 with a 20% off coupon, but it's really beautiful. It has these metallic sheen sleeves and it's just like an open, oh, it's Vince by the way. It is Vince and it's a size medium, very generous cut. It has like the draped front or like a waterfall front open cardigan. I can't tell if, if it's better in here, if you're seeing stuff as well. I feel like I have to get in pretty close. Well, we'll try this time and you guys give me feedback if you like the haul in this room. Um, anyways, I love this metallic sleeve. I think I have this on for like $68. I feel like Vince sits for a while, but that's a real substantial piece. And I think it's very versatile. I think it will fit different types of body styles and stuff like that. So I listed it kind of high. In the end, I'll probably get about $40 for it. I paid 10, so it's not like the hugest profit, but I did love that piece, so I grabbed it. Um, I also got these. I don't always pick up Steve Madden, but I'm a sucker for the color blush, and I thought these sneakers were in really good condition. Um, they're, they're just a suede blush sneaker. Uh, the only thing that I did see it looks like really subtle cracking here on the edge, which I will note. But anyways, these are listed, I think around 25 or $30, um, but they're really cute. And the bottoms aren't in bad shape either. Oh, that was the other thing. There was a little transfer of dye from whatever the person was wearing on the inside. So I, I don't think I saw that until I got home, but these are a size eight. Anyways, this is a vintage piece and the designer is Victor Costa. 
for Neiman Marcus. And some of these pieces, it really just caught my eye. It's this taffeta strapless dress with a ribbon that ties in the back. Um, and it has all this detail down the front. This is not a split, this is just one piece. Um, but I thought with the holiday coming up for all my vintage fans out there, I've been loving vintage lately, um, really gorgeous. They had this marked at $19.99. So I only got 20% off. I'm hoping to get between $80 and $100 for it. So we'll see. Um, I would not have picked this up if it weren't uh, Christmas season, but I think this is a beautiful holiday dress and I can I can see somebody really rocking this dress. Oh, gosh, these vintage pieces have me sometimes. Do you ever go shopping and you're just in a mood and you're like, ah, this kind of goes against most of the things I've taught myself about reselling, like didn't look at comps, it was overpriced, but you still like it and you still pick it up. This is one of those pieces. I don't even know if this is vintage because there is not a single tag anywhere and it actually feels like brand new. So I just thought this faux fur coat was so cool. It's black, it's furry, and it's got um, like this purple cranberry. It's, it's looking more maroon on the camera. And then this green fur here and then in the sleeve and it crosses over in the front. I just think it's really cool. It's definitely like Dallas from the 1980s. This has to be vintage with these shoulders, don't you think? Anyway, I think it's fun. This is right. an Ellie Tahari, which is the, the designer part, not just plain Tahari. This is all down. Um, there is no size tag, but it definitely measures like an extra large, like 14 or 16. Um, it's got this big, big collar here. It's a very puffy. I'm going to bring it all up for you. Uh, really cute down coat and inside when you unsnap it like this it has like just the inside where you zip and this is like more short-waisted but then you know it comes down to about your knees this will fit me because this one's really big bigger oh really cute yeah I would say this is like a 14 or a 16 um, but anyways, it's all down. It's got fleece line pockets. It's really cozy. Um, I have this listed for maybe one nineteen. This was $12 and then the discount. So $10 I thought was not a bad price for Ellie Tari. And the last thing that I have to show you from Savers, I guess I really process most of my Goodwill Outlet stuff. I'm sorry about that. I'm not going to do that again. It's good to do the hauls right away. Is this sweater? That is from uh, Anthropology. This is a moth sweater. I think this was like four or five dollars and it's a size medium. It's just got this really pretty design on it. And sometimes I like a sleeve that's not super long. Like I feel like it's light enough. If it's like a warm day, you can layer this over a t-shirt and it will look really cute. So, um, okay, that's it for those places. So I wanna talk to you a little bit about um, Plato's Closet. So. Um, I think I'm going to do a video on how I do my consigning, um, or maybe I'll just mention it here really quickly. I go to three different consignment stores. I go to Plato's Closet. I go to a local shop, um, one town over that specializes in children's clothing. And then there, and they also take teens and some women's. And then there's a store in Lemister that I've mentioned before called Cutie Patooties. And they're in the same boat. They go from like kids to women's men's. They're like a catch-all. So Plato's being the most exclusive, they're very picky about what they take and they also like certain brands. And then the first children's store that I mentioned, they take um, higher end children's children's brands and then uh, popular teenage brands as well. And then that store in Lemonster really takes just about anything. So I usually start at Play-Doh's and then what they don't take, I divide it. If um, Obviously there's no children's stuff from Play-Doh's, but if they do have teen clothing that I think will go to my second location. I'll pull it from there. And then if my second location doesn't take it, it all goes to the last place. And at the last place, I just say donate whatever doesn't sell. So that's like my three tier. So I think it's really worthwhile if you're thinking about consigning clothes um, to figure out uh, you know, the, the business plan of the stores around you because it can really work to your advantage. So I, I kind of, as I'm going through things, if I pick up stuff at the bins or lately I've just been given a lot of things from people. And if it's something that I don't want to take the time to list on 
for my closet on Poshmark or for eBay because either it's just not a brand I sell well or it's not worth my time because I won't get as much money in return or for whatever reason, it's nice to have these places where you can drop things off. And also um, the last place that I mentioned also has a housewares division. So that is a great last stop for me. So I started with Play-Dohs yesterday. So that's that about that. I brought them a bin. They accepted 23 items. Um, interesting to note, they did not accept Athleta pants that were wide leg. Neither did my second consignment store. I thought that was kind of interesting. Um, they're only taking like the skinny leg, le legging style for athletic pants. Um, they took like an Adidas hat. They took an Aeropostale scarf, which I probably couldn't have sold for $5. I was surprised they took that. Um, they took Old Navy Rockstar jeans, but then they didn't take Adriana Goldschmidt jeans, which I thought was interesting. Um, they did not take American Eagle jeans for men at Plato's Closet. I had one. It was a smaller size. I don't, I can't think of why else they wouldn't take it, but they didn't take that. But I found it interesting that they did take the Old Navy. I had a brand new with tag Charlotte Russe, like faux leather skirt that they did not take. Um, but they took like a Ralph Lauren, uh, I think it's charter, like they're very low end that you can get at JCPenney, but it was new with tag. It was like a burnt orange quarter zip sweater that they took. It was pretty random what they took and what they didn't take. But anyways, they took 23 pieces and I made $66 or $65 from Play-Dohs. Where's my thing? 65, 67 is what I made with the 23 items that I brought in. So roughly $3 an item. Um, they took some pink items, but then not the other pink items. It was, it was interesting. So my regret is that I wish I had just taken all that money and gone to the second thrift store that I went to yesterday, but I was in there while they were processing my stuff. And I think that's part of their plan. But anyways, I ended up buying this made well. It's a uh, merino wool with, uh, does it have alpaca in it a little bit? It's one of just, I think this is called, I wrote it down, Ryder, R-Y-D-E-R. I believe that is the style, the Ryder cardigan. It retails for $98. I bought it for $14 and the comps were just okay. I have it in a size medium. I have it listed, I think for about $49 or $55, um, but I'm hoping between $35 and $40. 45. Although there weren't many in this color or this size. So, you know, I'm a little confident with, with the pricing that I have it at. Nylon, merino, wool, alpaca, and elastane is the, um, the I was going to say the ingredients, <laughs> the fabric content. Okay, this is my big fail and I'm so sad about it. So I was shopping around and I saw this and I was like, oh gosh, Cole Haan, new with tag. And um, on top of this tag was a TJ Maxx tag. And on top of the TJ Maxx, and the TJ Maxx had it listed at $59.99 on sale for $40. Plato's Closet had it listed for $25. So I was like, wow, $25 for, um, for Cole, Cole Haan leather is like one of my favorite leathers out there. It's always soft and buttery. And it had, it, you know, it was lined, like had this quilty lining. And then it had this like kind of Sherpa fleece looking um, arms. And it was a moto style jacket. So I quickly looked up the comps while I was there. And these leather moto jackets go for anywhere between like 100 to $180 I saw for comps. So psych, I bought that. So I spent 40 and then I left there with $26.67 in my pocket to take to my next thrift store. The sad part is when I got home and I looked up the style number on this, I realized it is vegan leather. It is not real leather. And that changes everything. So now what I thought was going to, you know, pay quadruple the $25 that I paid for this. Now I think I have it listed. I mean, it did still retail for $200, but the comps weren't fantastic. So I'm just praying that you know, people love the size or the fact that it's new for the holidays because a lot of the ones that were listed weren't new with tag. Um, anyways, that was a big mistake. <laughs> um, they had some Stuart Wiseman's flats that I almost bought that the comps were great on, but they were, they were suede and there was a little bit of dirt on the back and I was really looking for low maintenance things. So anyways, I definitely should not have paid $25 for this. Um, it's a beautiful jacket, but it is not real leather. So I think that's going to work against me. So I took my $27 and I went to my new location. 
um, which is a place that I mentioned before, the last time I went to Plato's Closet. And so anyways, I'm gonna start with shoes, which um, I have just like my little basket here and accessories. Um, I picked up this Kate Spade lunch bag and it just says out to lunch. And this is like new without tag. It's completely clean on the inside. There's no smell of like anything that has ever been used. Uh, really cute. It's, a, it's like a, um, a very natural looking color with tiny little polka dots on it. This was $2.99. Didn't care that it was Kate Spade. They had other things marked up pretty high. Um, it's like any store. It's interesting what they mark up and what they miss. But um, the cool thing about this place, and I wish I had spent more time looking at shoes. Um, I, I, I made a couple misses on shoes. I get so excited when I'm shopping. Does that ever happen? I just like, and I'm an emotional shopper and you know, I'm like, I'm looking in every direction and everything seems great to me. <laughs> Anyways, these aren't bad. I've done very well with Corkies, but these are Corks by Corkies and they definitely have some wear in them, but all of their shoes, unless marked, are $4.99, which, you know, when you go to Savers and you see average shoes like Nine West shoes marked $9.99, this is great. Everything's $4.99 and then they have like a little case in the front and I did get some shoes. I'll show you from that case. Um, but anyways, these are a size six. They do show some wear, um, but I still think I could flip these for $25, $30. I mean, on average, my Corkies go for a lot more than that. So I think the last pair that I had like that, that was new with tags sold around $60. So I'm thinking maybe 25 or 30 for that. Um, these shoes, um, I don't always pick up Lauren, but I, Lauren by Ralph Lauren, but these were in really good condition, genuine leather. Um, I wanna say, was there a price tag on these? No, somebody wrote 50 under here. But anyways, $4.99, the comps on these were really good. I'm expecting to get anywhere between 37 and $45 for these. So $4.99 turnaround, they have that, it's like calf hair. I don't know if you can see the detail here. But these are in really, really good condition. And these are a size eight and a half. That's my size. But these look kind of narrow for my Fred Flintstone feet. <laughs> okay, so those, really cute. These were a miss. Um, and you guys can do homework for me if you want. Everyone's super helpful. The brand is Fama, F-A-M-A, -A, Pastor. Well, I just Googled Fama and what came up were insane comps and uh but i didn't include the pastor i did fama without the pastor and these comps i think this is a i want to say maybe like a uk or italian brand um but they're really cute they're just like little ballet flats they have some they almost remind me of like clark's they have like a really nice quilted inside they are um i believe they're size 41 in this nice camel color the bottoms aren't in great shape. They actually look way worse than they are in this lighting, but they're they're really nice. Um, but what I thought on my first comp check was I'd probably get between like 50 and 70 for these, and now it's more like 20 and 30. So you win some, you lose some, but I'll still make money. And then the last thing I bought, the only reason I picked these up was because I was in line, and at this store, for every $50 you spend, you get an automatic $5 off. So really, all these prices that I'm giving you, they're less 10% because I hit the 50, I spent $150, so I got 15 off. So it's 10%, but these are Todd's, and they're really beautiful loafers. These are like new. Um, and they have little stud detail here. Uh, the only thing, and I need to work on this because I do have suede cleaner, um, is there's like little little water dots here, which I'm kind of bummed out about because in the store, yeah, you can really see them under the lights. Um, in the store, I couldn't, the store's lighting wasn't great. They had these marked for $14.99, and I needed to spend a little more money to get to my next level to get the $5 off. So in my brain, I called these $10. So that's it for shoes. Um, shoes weren't that exciting, but the $4.99 price point is really exciting. So the next thing that I got was this really, uh, really beautiful J. Crew uh, merino wool. My, I have been selling sweaters like crazy. So I was really looking for sweaters and outerwear and jackets. I didn't really look at any tops. I am, I have athletic pants coming out of my ears right now. So like, I must not love filming them or photographing them. So I didn't, oh, I picked up a couple pairs. I'll tell you why. Um, but anyway, so I was looking for sweaters. So this is J. Crew 
I also love that it's a size large. It's mohair and wool, and it's just got this gorgeous texture to it. I love a V-neck sweater, and um, I love that it was a large, um, and it's a current style, I think. Oh no, this wasn't the one that had this one. This J. Crew sweater, which is a totally different feel. This is from spring of 2019. So I jumped all over this. This isn't uh, necessarily great for the season right now, but I just thought that, um, that this would be beautiful just because it is a current piece. Uh, you know, it's so new. So let's compare tags. So this is the current label for J. Crew, And I'm assuming, because it's from 2019. <laughs> and this is a little bit older. And then, you know, J. Crew has like the cream colored label or a dark green label. So I tend to like the black label stuff. And uh, yeah, now this newer one with like the it's like in cursive writing. So got those sweaters. So this brand I looked up really quick and I think I did get the comps right on this one. The brand is just Coral. But um, these are like a brown, a brown legging, but the, the comps on these were pretty good. I'm expecting to get between like 30 and $35 for these. They're really nice. I mean, their retail price, there's a lot of legging brands that the retail price is really high, but then you know, their resale isn't as great, but this seemed to hold its value. These are a size small. And then a couple weeks back when I went to this place, um, I showed you some leggings from this brand, Therese, and they collaborate with Soul Cycle. So I don't know if these are Soul Cycle ones. I don't think so. These are just, um, I don't see any skulls anywhere on here that would indicate Soul Cycle. Although, wait, I do see that. This little guy. So maybe, but usually we'll say on the tag if, if it's a collaboration with Soul Cycle. So I don't think this is, but these are all made in the USA. And the thing that I love about their legging section at this store is with the exception of Lululemon and Athleta, all of their leggings are just $3.49 plus the 10% off. So like, that's like another 35 cents. So really like $3 and 10 or 20 cents for all of their leggings. Um, they actually have a sign on the wall. It's almost like a disclaimer, like, if we missed it, it says uh, Lululemon, Patagonia, Athleta has a separate um, price list at the register. So my understanding by that is like, if you happen to find a pair of Lululemon leggings that we missed and we catch it at the register, we're gonna charge you a premium price, which I was like, whoa. I mean, it's one way for them to safeguard against and I mean, the tags that they put on these higher end things are industrial size. Like you would literally have to destroy the whole piece to get the tag off. So I thought that was interesting. But again, Soul Cycle they didn't have marked up. Uh, so yeah, I was I took advantage of that. So both of those, I mean, two pairs of leggings. If I sell these for thirty dollars each, that's great. Even twenty five dollars, I'd be happy with. Um, I got these BC sweatpants. I always try to get the the local. Uh, the local colleges, I love to, to carry their gear in my store for all the Boston schools, especially. Um, but I don't know if any of you have a teenage daughter at home, but it's like the slouchier, the baggier, the better. Like they just like these hanging off of them. So these are a size medium. They're by E5. They're not champion or anything, but they're really heavyweight cotton. So I thought these were really cute. I'm probably going to start these around $38 and see how it goes from there, but probably end up around 25 or 30. This is a brand that I haven't done well with, but I believe in this piece. It's so pretty. And the, the brand is Lafayette 148. And this is also a size 12, but it's an open cardigan. I haven't tried this one on yet, but I think it's gonna be a little tight on me. Maybe, I don't know. Um, definitely for like more mature, but I love like the creams and taupes and browns and grays in this. And then it's like a, um, it's almost like a suede or a velvet trim and it's a longer length. Um, it's just so pretty. It's like brand new condition. So when I got to the register, I thought this was gonna be marked as a blazer, but they have like a sep, so blazers in this store, another, they have interesting pricing. Blazers are 549, period. Um, longer coats, not even, they don't even call it a blazer. If it's a longer coat, it's 1049. So I was hoping I would get away with this and get it for blazer prices because 
549 for a blazer. Again, this Lafayette 148, I did cross post this to eBay and I started high with this. Some of you are gonna go like gasp, but I put it up for 149. Is that crazy? Their comps are just all over the place and the retail is so much money, so much money on these. So either I need to adjust my expectations or, I mean, clearly, people can always make an offer. So if somebody wants to make an offer, I thought between the size, the fact that it's like flawless, it's wool, I really hope that I get close to 100 for it. I don't know, maybe not. This I paid up for at the store and this already has like eight, eight or nine likes, I wanna say. I think it had seven when I woke up this morning. This is a Free People denim jacket, cropped, and it's got all this great embroidery on it. It is a size two. I absolutely love it. And the tag looks like brand new. Like the, I always look at the little copper and it looks like it's in good shape. So one thing about this, and I did mark this, there is this like, see how the color varies a little bit here? I honest to God can't, I mean, I think that's a stain. However, when you look on that, they have, there's, they have these patches on the um, elbows and this too had some like discoloration like right here. So maybe it's just part of the style because it's clearly very distressed. Um, but I mean, I, I wrote the one on the back because that one seems even more out of the ordinary, but see it right here? It does look like a stain to me. I don't know if you've ever seen this jacket or anything, but I have this marked at $68. It retailed for 158. I paid $14.99 for this. Um, so I definitely have to hold my ground a little bit on the pricing on this. And, but I mean, hopefully it will sell for like, you know, even if it sold for $45 and I made 30 on it, I would be happy, but I'm going to hold my price for a little bit on it and see how it does. This brand is new to me. And, um, I kind of just looked at these and I thought, ah, these might be something. Um, Etienne Marcel is the brand. Um, they're just, I don't know, there was just something about these that I, I had a hunch about. Are they made in the USA? Because usually that gives me a hunch. No, it doesn't say. Well, it says Los Angeles, South Broadway, Los Angeles. Anyways, the comps on these were really good. I have these priced at $78. They're snakeskin. Um, they did sell these at Nordstrom Rack, so I got a lot of information. These are a size 27. I was really pleased with the comps on these. Um, there were plenty of people who had these marked because I think they retailed for $172. So there was no lacking of people who had them listed uh, $89, $99. So I'm hoping my $78 price point will, um, will be fair. I wanna say these were like $549. I think their pants are like $549 and their jeans are plain $649. So in all of their shorts, are $2.99. I love this place. It's so much fun. Um, so these were a DIY somebody must have done. They're Levi's acid wash jeans. And these are actually men's sizing because the tag, it's the loose straight and the tag says 3230. Um, but clearly these were just made to be distressed with the pockets hanging out. So I love that they're like a 32. So that's like a 1214 for women. Um, and what else did I want to say? Oh, but one of the pockets had like a little bit of staining, which again, I don't know. With the distressing, it doesn't make as much of a, it's not as much of a big deal. $2.99. I was like, sure. This was a random pickup. And then they charged me more for it at the register. So um, I think I might give it to my niece, but this was just so soft. It's a mermaid sleeping bag. Look at this. Come on. It's so, so cute. I'm gonna put it in the wash, but I just thought it was so adorable. So sleeping bags were $7.99, but then there was a sign that said kids sleeping bags were $4.59 or $4.49. And then I got to the register and she wanted to charge me $7.99. And I said, I think that's kids. And then she asked her manager and he said $6.99. So I said, whatever. I mean, this is my friend's business. I'm not gonna, not gonna cause a fuss, but I think authentic kids that's probably like walmart or tj maxx or whatever but if i don't sell this i haven't looked up comps i'll just give it as a gift because i have three nieces who would love it so this um they did mark up a lot of lily pulitzer at this store but they missed this it's an older tag lily but it's a really classic uh the comps weren't fantastic i paid 10.49 for this again they call this a long coat so I thought it was gonna be a certain price. The coats were like 849. 
and then they said it was long, so it was 1049 at the register, which it's really just like, just, you know, above your knee length. Um, but it is, the size tag is out. I suspect it's like a medium or large, and it's just this quilted uh, peacoat. Very lightweight, Lily Pulitzer. I thought that was really cute. I'm hoping to get anywhere between 40 and $50 for that. Another new to me brand. Um, I love finding new brands and sharing them with you. This is a size medium. The brand is Johnny O. I will show you the tag. And this retails for $130. There's the tag right there. I, maybe I've heard of this before, but I've definitely never found it or picked it up. Um, but it's a quarter zip. Kind of reminds me of like a preppy, preppy brand, almost like a um, Vineyard Vines or something like that. But here, the little decorative thing is just the number one. So when I looked on their website, they they um, collaborate with like college campuses and they'll have like the college logo here. They had all sorts of random things there. If anybody knows anything about Johnny O, let me know. I don't know what the one signifies, if it's specific to something. Um, anyway, because there were so many of these listed, like different varieties on their website that sold for $130. I'm hoping to get between $40 and $60 for this. It's in beautiful condition. It is a size medium, uh, and this is men's. If anybody has any interest in purchasing any of these things, please go ahead and send me a message. Uh, it's best to reach me either on Instagram at uh, Lori Tata1973. You can direct message me. That's gonna change though. I have a new name that I'm going to be launching later this week or um, or next week, but I'll definitely keep you posted on that. But my Instagram, uh, so I'll, I'll go back in my videos and change my name when I do release that, but it's not, I think yeah, I can just go in settings and change it. So it's not gonna like, it's not like I have to start over, um, but I'm excited to tell everybody about that. This was um, a pickup. So now this, this was a pickup that I was like, ah, I'm gonna go for it. And I think this one's gonna pay off. This is a um, Harry Potter, um, all my Harry Potter fans are going to correct me on this pronunciation. Marauders map. Marauders. Marauders. <laughs> um, robe. And it has like a pointed wizard hood, which I love. It's all fleece lined. It's really, really cute. It's got like these fuzzy fleece cuffs. Um, it is definitely belted. So I saw this. And I just feel like these novelty things can do very well. Um, this past month, I sold two Star Wars things. And one of my viewers said maybe because the last installment's coming out, which is a very good point. Um, so there's no new hype right now with Harry Potter, but Harry Potter fans are extremely passionate. And this robe, so when I looked into this a little bit more, this is super cute on the tag here. It says property of Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizards with like these little, um, like little grommet studs here, which I thought were really cute. Um, I believe this is a small, it is a small, it's from Primark. So when I first saw the tag that said Primark, I thought, oh God, I said Love and Lounge. And then as I looked more into it, I saw that it was a Primark brand. And uh, do you guys have those? It's it's an it's a London store, I believe, or UK store. And um, we just got one in Boston. So really cute, trendy stuff. They're kind of like an H&M vibe to me, but even cheaper, to be honest. So when I saw it, it was from there. I thought, oh boy, this isn't going to be much. Comps were great. Comps were like between $30 and $40 on this. A couple people wrote limited edition. So it was probably just out for one season and Harry Potter fans are looking for it. So I was really happy about this. It's in beautiful condition. I'll probably list it on the higher end or maybe 38 or $42 and see where it goes from there. Um, and okay, at this store, all of their loungewear pajamas, $4.49, period, across the board, plus 10% off if you spend 50. So say $4 for PJs. I'm down with that. This was a set and it is like brand new, like Calvin Klein. This is probably a large, but there's, they're just these really silky soft lounge pants, those, and then this tank top that goes with it with the Calvin Klein lined. Could not see this, the size on either one of these yesterday. And I am like pretty much blind now. So I'm gonna have to look at it closer, but it looks like a large to me. Um, the shirt could be a medium, but they were they were put together, so I'm guessing large. And I did find a stock photo for this exact outfit together. So um, 
I'm, I'm going to probably list it at $28 or $30. So I don't always pick up Calvin Klein, but Calvin Klein's uh, loungewear, their bralettes, their underwear does very well. Um, so I know my daughter doesn't seek out like Calvin Klein clothing, but she likes all this sort of lounge stuff. So it might be the um, Kylie Jenner effect on that because they all wear their Calvins. All right, this is the first thing I found and you can see the sad, sad stain here that made me wanna cry. The very first thing when I walked into the store, I found these mother jeans. Some of you, these are mother superior. These are a very high waist right here, high rise I should say, but they are flawed. So this is the flaw, there's, it looks like bleach. So I am thinking about DIYing these and bleaching them and they have, this cool leg, there's more detail on these. These are 24, so $6.49 for Mother Jean. Almost through my whole video and then my husband just called <laughs> and it automatically like bumps me out. I have to press do not disturb when I, um, when I film. Okay, Mother Jeans, where was I? Love these. Um, so these are a size 24 and Mother Superior, they say, and over here, the Stunner Ankle Chew, walking on water. So now, I think this is an, I think this is an older label. Um, I think now they're called the Stunner Ankle Fray, um, but maybe not. Maybe, maybe these are just considered chewed and not frayed. <laughs> maybe they differentiate between those. I don't know if I'm gonna list them as is and just list them low or really have fun with them and bleach them all over the place and charge double. No, I'm joking. I don't know what I'm gonna do. But anyways, if I DIY them and make them really cool, maybe they'll go for like $60, $70. If I leave them like that, probably 30 or 40. So if you would like them, let me know. 24. Okay, this was a really fun pickup. They had this in the dress section. Their dresses are expensive here. Not crazy, but um, regular dresses are $8.49. Rel they're relatively expensive, like when the leggings are $3.49, but certain dresses, very beautiful. I got a couple nice ones. This was there, and this was one of the situations where I got to the register and they actually charged me for a t-shirt or a knit shirt, which was $4.49 instead of $8.49. So I looked this up. I've, I've obviously heard of Puma, but I've never heard of this UEG. And I think it's like streetwear um, division. This retailed for $116. It is, so when I purchased it, I figured it was a dress for women. It has almost this like silicone-y rubber base. This is Puma here. And over on this side, what does this even say? It's pretty cool. I knew this was something special. Ingredients, bones, muscles, blood, total number of cells, top physical performance, activity modes. This is pretty intense, man. <laughs> um, it's a medium. Anyways, when I got home and looked at these, uh, it was men's. It was like a Justin Bieber style. You know how he wears like dresses and his pants way off his butt? Um, that's what it was. It was a man model in this. But then on the website, it said unisex. I mean, I think this would be very specific to a very specific style guy if, if I put it in men's I don't know I feel like I should put this in women's because it it looks like a dress to me so it did say unisex on the website I will probably put it under dress unless you guys think that I would make more money in men's or maybe I put it in both I don't know uh let me see I thought I had some like specifics written down about it but um yeah the comps looked really good like between 50 and 60 75 um, which I thought was pretty cool. Puma UEGX t-shirt. Yep, retailed for 116. That's all I wrote down. Anyways, I'm hoping for the best with that. Um, oh, just a couple more things. I got this dress um, by Calypso, which is a really Calypso St. Bart. This is a very high-end, high-end, um, like destination wear, uh, vacation this is not actually a very typical dress for them because it's black this i was actually thinking about me because it is it measures like a large the size tag is missing but it's just this sheathed um 
flowy little dress, sleeveless. It's 100% silk. This probably retailed for between two and $400. I don't know exactly, but their stuff is very high end and this was in beautiful condition. And it's just got like this raw edge. I really, really loved this. Um, I wear black all the time. So that's just the kind of style I would like in the summer. Um, I don't know where I'm gonna price that at. It's out of season, but it's beautiful. And because it's black, you know, somebody could clearly wear that to, um, some sort of fancy occasion for the holidays. Um, this was just getting rolled out on a rack and I grabbed it. It's intimately free. I'm having a hard time finding the name. It, it reminds me of the trapeze dress, but it's not. And um, it kind of has a high neck in the front. I found, I found a similar one that had lace in the front, but this has lace on the side. It's really, really pretty, kind of A-lines out. It's got polka dots, high neck, super cute. Um, but I believe it's a dress. I also looked up like handkerchief style, um, but I haven't found it yet. But anyways, if I don't find a style number on it or anything like that, I'll probably list it around $32. And the last thing, which um, a lot of people commented on my Instagram story, I knew this was from the Fit Fab Fun whatever box, but I've never, ever, ever found Show Me Your Moo Moo. And I was just, I mean, honestly, this could have been a rag and I think I might have picked it up for four dollars I was just so excited I don't I've for all of my Boston people do you find show me your moo in this area because I feel like we have pretty good thrift stores around here and I never never find show me your moo I feel like Alyssa thrifts and empty hanger they find this like it's almost like like I find LL Bean with Freeport Maine up the street um yeah, so anyway, I was really excited. It's a one size fits all. So yes, this came in like one of those monthly boxes. Um, it is not a real sought after piece. It's one size fits all. It's a robe. It will probably bring me maybe $30, but I didn't care because I was so excited to just find Show Me Your Moo And it is after all, like the little things about this job, like the little bucket list things. What's on your bucket list? So Show Me Your Moo is definitely one of the things for men's. Um, I want to find an Untuck It shirt. I've never found Untuck It and I've never found um, a Robert Graham shirt. But I don't go through the men's shirts a lot, but I would like to find both of those things. But Show Me Your Moo Moo has been on my bucket list for a very long time. Gymshark was on my bucket list. I finally found a pair of those leggings and those sold. Um, and then yesterday I was watching um, Modern Beat. She is awesome and she's always she's the one um if you do not follow her on instagram she's the modern beat b-e-e-t modern beat and she is like the master of picking things up at the bins and then she brings it to play-dohs and it like literally she leaves the bins and goes to play-dohs and goes home with cash and she might pick up a couple things um while she's at Plato's, but it's like a weekly thing that she does where she picks at the bins specifically for Plato's. It's absolutely freaking brilliant. But my bins are 45 minutes away, and then my Plato's is about 35 minutes in a different direction. So um, that model doesn't quite work for me, but um, she has definitely inspired me to get to Plato's closet. So keep up the good work. She's awesome. But, anyways, <laughs> the whole point of my story, she got a. Um, she got these leggings that were called bombshell leggings that I've never seen and I had actually never heard of them. So I went online and they are awesome. They're like very like bootylicious looking leggings and um, on these like women with these incredible strong bodies and they have like, um, like it looks like socks that come up to their knees, but it's actually part of the legging. Anyways, that is officially on my bucket list. That's all for today, everyone. I hope you enjoyed my haul. Let me know what you think of the kitchen. Um, and yeah, it was kind of nice to be able to spread out and talk to you and try a few things on. Anyways, it was fun. If you liked this, like it, please. And would give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more of me. And I really appreciate everybody uh, tuning in to my hauls and my what's sold and just generally the support and nice comments that so many of you leave on my channel. I really have loved this YouTube gig and um, it's because I have great viewers. So thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Until next time. Bye.